Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back on Visa. This time we have this 93 rated good model card. Now, when I saw this card, I was like, oh no, it's going to be insanely broken because it's like his normal card, just better. And obviously, he has finesse plucks, which is one of the best ones in the game. So on stats, he's 5 foot 9, got the high medium work crease. He's got the 4 star skills, 4 star weak for his third foot, obviously being that right hand foot. Now, on other terms, you can only play the strike and the centre forward, which is a little bit unfortunate in my opinion, because you do have a lot of cards with this, so you're not going to be able to get them all on the same team. Now, on stats, he's got the 88 pace, the 94 shooting, the 77 passing, the 86 dribbling, and the 75 physicals. So on paper, looks quite nice and well-rounded. Now, on playstyles, he obviously has one of the most broken ones in the game with Finesse Plus. Now, I don't know how this is going to be post-patch, so you need to try it out for yourself and let me know how good it is. But, with that being said, pre-patch, it was insanely good. Now, he also has Power Shot, he also has Rapid, Traveller, and he also has Aerial. If you do enjoy the review or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally does mean a lot to my channel. I'll see you after Positive Natives. Peace. So, what's my other thoughts about the card? Now, if you don't know how the same works, I pretty much say what's good, what's bad, what you should and what you shouldn't do, just so you utilize the card as best as possible. Now, first thing is the four star skills, four star we for. Now, the four star skills are a minimum necessity, in my opinion. Obviously, with a lot of strikers, especially the German ones, they're not really prone for skills. Like, yeah, like the Werners, like that, the Vollers, they're not really the best of card skills, so it does actually um, a nice little change that this card has four star skills. Obviously, you do want the five, but with that being said, uh, the four star skills can get you out of a few situations if you need. Now the four star weak foot, very, very, very good. Honestly, it feels like a five star weak foot, and that's probably because his shooting is absolutely insanely good. But with that being said, it's very, very dependable. Like, obviously, finesse is one of the only playstyles in the game where it's on both feet. Because Travella's only on a strong foot, and finesse you can do it on both feet. So when you've got a four star weak foot or a five, it goes in most of the time, which is very nice. Now, the pace me really good. With that rapid as well, uh, the acceleration will burst you through and then the sprint speed won't really particularly matter because he does have rapids to keep him going when he is obviously at top speed. Now, honestly, the best finish I've used so far this year. He's got Traveller. He's got Finesse Plus. Not even just Finesse. Finesse Plus. He's got 99 finishing, 96 shot by 90 composure, 98 attack. He is so, so clinical in front of the goal. And this is why you see his record as juicy it is for me. I didn't have to play many games to get around the 20 clip mark. It was insanely good. And he could genuinely finish pretty much everything no matter where you put him. 
Now, the passing for me is actually quite adequate in my opinion. He's got the vision and he's got the short pass. He can do the simple stuff which to bounce across the other striker or to the wide. But don't try int any intricate stuff. He's not going to place up pluses. And he also has very, very bad long pass. So you just need to be careful a lot of times. Now, the dueling for me, this is a little bit of a weird one in my opinion. Because he's quite small. So he's not going to be the most unagile cards. But he doesn't have technical. He doesn't have the highest of dueling stats. Or the actual agility stats. So overall, he's not going to be the most like nimble card to twist and turn with. But with that being said, I didn't really notice it as too much of an issue where it's going to knock the card down where it's unusable. I, I didn't think it was too, too bad. Now, these are two of the standout stats in my opinion. So, 97 reactions is very good. And this, in my opinion, was a very un like surprising one. That 94 balance would just allow him that extra touch or that extra um, stride to get that shot off or that pass off. Which would obviously, with the finishing like he does, was just so, so good. And he could crack shots from so far away at any weird position and it'd probably go in. That's honestly one of the best balances in the game. Now, ball control, really good. The composure, as I've already talked about, amazing. Now, these are weird ones, in my opinion. So, 99 head next seat and 89 jumping. Although he's small, he does also have playstyles to go with it. So, overs, I don't really think he's bad for a target man. I don't think he's a, the best target man. I think you can utilise him as that. But, like, especially since he's only a striker, in my opinion, you can only really play him centrally. I don't really think he's going to be beating these big centre-backs like Van Dijk with his aerial plus. I, I feel like... It is a little bit wasted in my opinion, but all that being said, if he does find himself against a Cordoba or a, a smaller fullback, he has got the potential to score these headers, which just allows him a little bit more variety to the card. Now, the physicals, as I've said, the stamina, it's it's okay. It's not amazing, it's not bad. I do want more, in my opinion. I do want more like 85, because when you have him on stay forward, it's not particularly too much issue but he still will run out around the 80th and i didn't notice that in most games he will get very tired and when i'm trying to re do reviews of the card and they get tired on the 80th so i can't play on with them it is a little bit annoying now the strength and aggression are both quite low but as i've already said about the balance it does counteract it quite nicely so on to the fun part the ease part of you the overall scores now if you don't know how this works i pretty much rank each individual stats, so you've got passing, shooting, pace, etc. In a score out of 10. And it also give an overall score and a value of coins. Just so you're getting as much detail on the card as possible. Now, first me is the pace. Now, over the pace, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I can't get any lower than that. Because I do think it's actually really fast. Especially when he gets through on goal. That acceleration is good. Uh, and then when obviously uh, gets going, that rapid uh, to go with it is actually a really nice stat. Now, the shoot of me, 10 out of 10. You're not going to change my mind at all. He's one of the best finishers in the game. And if not the best in my opinion. Obviously. There's a few things where you could improve on. Like the long shots like that. But overall. Eh, you can't get too much better than this in my opinion. Now the passing me. I'm going to give a 5 out of 10. It's adequate. You can do the simple short passes as I've already said. But anything more than that. Just avoid. Now the drilling for me. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. He's not on agile. And especially as I've already talked about that. Uh, balance is really, really good. That is a very standout point in these dribbling attributes. He's also got good composure, good reactions. Overall for this, I think that's a fair score. Now, the physicals. So the one that matters most is the stamina. It doesn't really have too much of that and also has low strength and aggression. But, as I've already said, that head and axing jumping are quite nice attributes to have, although it's not really a uh, strong suit. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now, overall score for me then. I do really, really think this card's a good card. And one of the probably the best cards for shooting in the game. And one of the best strikers, in my opinion. If you had five-star skills or a bit more agility, he'd probably be up there with the big boys. Or even, like, rapid plus or something like that. But, with that being said, finesse plus is obviously broken. Now, overall score, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I do think he's good. I don't think he can compete with the top, top boys. But I do also think he's... Very fun card to use, and especially if you're German or any of his clubs, previous clubs. I do think he's a good card and a very fun card to use. So, value of coins, I'm going to give him a 8 out of 10. He is one of the best strikers, and if you are struggling to score a lot with chances, I do recommend this guy. He's very, very clinical, and if you green it, psh, no chance of saving it. But that's all for my view. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. As I said at the start, it generally does mean a lot to my channel. Now, if you want to see anything in particular, or if you've got any feedback, good or bad, I don't really mind. Let me know down in the comments down below. And obviously, the cards that you do suggest, I will try and do. I'll let you know in the comments. I respond to pretty much every single comment within a week. So, I'm not like Bates and I don't have a limited budget. So, you do need to obviously take into consideration that at times. But, with that being said, I try and do pretty much every single card I can. 
But I've got nothing more to say. See you next few and peace out, guys.